Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavadhan. In this video lecture, I am going to show you a solution on a problem on straight lines. And the example problem is like this. A line AB measuring 70 mm has its end A 15 mm in front of VP and 20 mm above HP and another end is another end B is 60 mm in front of VP and 50 mm above HP. Draw the projections of the line and find the inclination of the line with both the reference plane of projections. Now for which the collection, the data collection will be like this. The true length is 70 mm and locus of A dash and A is 20 and 15 respectively, locus of B dash and B is 60 mm respectively. So make use of a line command with a thickness of uh, 0.13. So one can draw an XY line and then we are supposed to draw four different locuses. So two at the top, two at the bottom. So let me draw two locus at the top and in the same fashion two locus at the bottom we are going to draw it. And after drawing the four different locuses, uh, the respective dimensions has to be given. So the using the command called as distance between the locus of A dash to the XY line is 20 millimeter and locus of A to the XY line is 15 millimeter in the same fashion locus of uh, B dash is 50 millimeter so this dimension is supposed to be 50 millimeter and locus of uh, B is going to be 60 millimeter so after doing these settings uh, make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 one has to draw a, a projector from locus of A dash to A then using the text command so let us mark the points uh, using a times new roman so let me mark this point as a dash as well as a now we know that a dash b1 dash is 70 millimeter which is going to be on the locus of b dash so make use of arc by center point set the radius value as 70 millimeter take a dash as the reference then uh, it should be drawn on the line over here so this is going to be the position of true length so using 0.35 mm thickness one can draw the true length so this true length is going to be marked as b1 dash b1 dash next in the same fashion with the arc by center point command with the radius thickness as 0 sorry line thickness as 0 0.13 again setting the radius as 75 one can draw the position of b2 like this then using a line command with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter sorry 35 millimeter one can get the position of b2 also then mark this point as b2 then after getting b1 dash and b2 so using a line command change the line thickness to 0.13 get the position of b1 on the locus of a and then similarly get the b2 dash on the locus of a dash then using the text command mark the respective points to avoid any confusions so this will becomes b1 and this will become b2 dash and b2 dash will be projected here as a b dash and b1 is going to be projected as a b here the respective points has been marked now using the arc by center point with point 13 as a thickness with a dash as center with b2 as the radius that is the front view line Joy, uh, draw an arc till it touches the locus of B dash and in the same fashion with A as the center B1 that is nothing but the top view length as the radius draw an arc till it touches the locus of B then after getting these points one has to join the line like this okay we have made some mistakes what is a mistake this radius is how much 75 oh this is a mistake what we have done this is not 75 millimeter this is supposed to be 70 millimeter next using this 70 millimeter now one can just uh, make a check that is whether a dash uh, yes a and b now one can check that it is properly matching the point now after doing these things we can identify that the solution is correct earlier while taking this dimension by mistakenly we have taken a 75 now it has been corrected that's why we got a different line now you can see it is a proper vertical line 
then make use of a line command with a thickness of uh, 0.5 mm one can join a dash to b dash to show that it is a required front view length and the top view length or the required top view that is a to b by thus the problem solution is completed now what are the given dimensions in the question we have to show that what are the given dimensions go to the smart dimension the given dimension is the true lens that is 70 here and 70 here both the things has to be shown so 70 70 has been represented that then what are the things to be measured we are supposed to measure the inclination of the line with both the reference plane draw the projections find the inclination okay what is that inclination go to the angle between draw the projections of the line so this is the projections of the line find the inclination let us measure all the inclinations this is called as angle theta and this is called as angle alpha and this is called as angle phi and finally this is called as angle beta next using the text command name or write all the angles that is a is equal to that is alpha is equal to uh, 34 degree and theta q is equal to 25 degree and in the same fashion angle phi is a phi is given by f is equal to 40 degree and angle beta is given by b is equal to 45 degree then uh, these things are supposed to be changed to symbol so that it will be converted as symbols to get the degree so once again place the cursor over there and go to character map select the symbol called as degree select copy and then it has to be placed at the respective center and once it is placed at the respective center whatever the unwanted things are there remove that unwanted things then copy keep pasting the things properly so this is what the error sometimes we will be getting so that by this uh, the problem solution is completed in all aspects now if you have any doubts to solve this problem you can call me at any point of time please make sure that not between the late nights and also please do subscribe to my channel and share these videos to all the first year engineering students so that it will be helpful for them and by subscriptions it will give me an encouragement to do more and more videos thank you guys